having starting to get weird feelings about this lunch on Saturday. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about it. Um I'm starting to get a lot of mixed messages like you predicted and um I'm getting confused by it and upset um basically you know there was some sexual talk and it's like high sexy pants and like there was a lot of like that kind of stuff and then all of a sudden it became sort of like I mean, I was stupid and was like, should I shave? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Because my friends were like, you know, if you're going to fucking risk getting COVID, you might as well get laid. And I was like, you know, it's like, you know, um, what I see happening is my own weird, classic, obsessive shit where I say I want to go slow, but I want to move fast. Um, I see myself saying, oh, I don't want to get sexual right away, but planning on it anyway and saying, oh, I don't have good impulse control and blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like all that stuff happening. Um, Rationalizing, justifying, minimizing, and denying. You know, and it's like, you know, I feel scared for sure, even though it's just lunch, but it's also like talk of like, oh, I'll pick you up on my Harley or like, oh, we can do that another time or let's do landmark together. And I'm like, is this my ex-boyfriend? Like, what the fuck, you know? And it's like, then it's like, well, it's just lunch. And I was like, you're texting and calling me every day. And like, we're talking about, you know, he goes, I need a woman to talk to. It's like, well, I'm not your therapist, bro. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't fucking need a friend. And like, I don't, like he seems very fucked up about his last relationship and the marriage and victimy and you know um mm-hmm. kind of not seeing whatever his part which takes time i get it because i've been there but um all mm-hmm. right i don't really know how to just have lunch with someone like is it a date or is it not a date like i don't really get it it's like so i'm just like i don't know part of me is almost wanting to cancel and then another part is saying like like maybe i just bring my own car and like meet him there and then leave right after so that there's nothing can happen you know what i mean whether there's whether there's any chemistry or not um you know it's like you need sex my friend and it's like all this kind of shit you know what i mean like you know i sex him about him and i told him and like i just you know i just see a lot Mm -hmm. of my old shit coming up exactly the way i used to behave and it's like I mean, except that I'm not initiating any communication at all. Okay. All right. So I want to respond. Um, first of all, the mixed messages, you know, what I hear is that's not comfortable for you to have mixed messages. He's doing the come here, go away. Um, there's a lot of fast forwarding the clock on both ends, right? You're both right. doing it. Right. And you know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, So that by the time you get to lunch, it's going to feel as if you've been dating for a while because of the fast forwarding the clock. Right. And it's a dangerous, it's a slippery slope um, because it puts us in that. Well, I feel as if I've known him for a lot longer, Um, but you haven't. Right. Um, And, you know, what does it tell you? that this person is sending you mixed messages. They're confused and they're also probably not emotionally available because of where they're at in their own life, which I already knew. I mean, I had a rule of never dating someone going through a divorce until two years out. And I'm, you know, and he's like, well, it's just lunch. It's like, but is it? I mean, like we've been texting every day. We talk for an hour and 40 minutes. We're talking about what we're looking for in a partner it's not just fucking lunch it's a fucking date like so either you know what I mean like mm-hmm. so I don't really know I got yesterday last night when we texted I mean text he does contact when he says he's gonna contact which I like he does 
seem empathetic. Like I said, hey, I felt really vulnerable after the last conversation when I told you a lot of my stuff. And then uh, I didn't hear from you for three days and I felt kind of vulnerable and like overexposed. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you know, and it was like, so I, I like that he's empathetic, but I also feel like, um, I can't yeah. tell how much of it is my own fear. Like I feel fucking kind of terrified, you know, I was like, gonna get a manicure and like, and shave my shit. And like, and now I'm kind of like, well, fuck it. I'm not doing any of that. And then like, you know, it's like, I don't like that. He hasn't talked to his sponsor. It's like, I, I don't you know yeah. uh he's like oh about us having lunch and then just like made it really kind of like so then I felt really stupid you know what I mean so it's like mm -hmm. I mean because he's been know. dismissive makes sense like, that you would feel yeah feel bad. and I was like yeah. I get it's just lunch he's like we'll just see where it goes from there and it's just like I mean I understand my need for fucking certainty or whatever but it's like you asked me out you saw me and you pursued me you know and it's like not as you know I was the one who was like can we talk first and whatever and so it's like you know you can be like high sexy pants and then it's like well it's just lunch like we'll see where it goes like and then I was like well I don't have great impulse control to be honest with you like I don't like you know so I just feel like now I don't I don't know what to do. I feel like I want to, you know, one of my friends is like, this really sounds like your ex-boyfriend, like mixed messages, a performer, landmark, you know, like emotionally unavailable. Like, are you sort of picking the same fucking person again? And I was just like, oh, fuck. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, I'm not even picking them. They're picking me. And it's like, do I even like him or do I like him because he likes me? Do you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, and this is a thing that we've talked about before. It's not so much who you're attracting, it's that you keep giving them your phone number and then going to lunch with them, right? So you can see. Yeah, but I haven't done this uh, in two and a half years. Right, I, I know. Done, you know, you can say that, but I haven't fucking dated and everyone's like, about fucking time, like get out there, like get your fuck, get laid. Like you fucking need to get laid, dude. And I'm like, do I though? Like, I mean, I don't know, like. Hmm. I, I mean, what, and get hurt and get attached and like fucking, you know, it's like, I mean, he's like saying the same thing. Like I can't have sex without emotion anymore. And da, da, da. it's like, but yeah, but it's like, you know, my ex said that when he left and then fucking became a whore again. So it's like, I don't, you know, uh, he seems distracted. Like when we're texting, he was texting his son and answering an email. I don't like that. Um, I was like, did I lose you like too much? Like, you know, it's like, so I don't really like that. And then he'll be like, I'm really tired. Like, I just want to say hello. And it's like, I understand he's in the middle of some fucking intense thing at this spa where they're, you know, fasting and doing all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, but but it's don't like, make excuses for him, honey. But I don't know what to do now. I mean, I don't. Yes, you do. You just don't want to do it. What, just say, I don't think this is right. <laughs> You said that. <laughs> Listen, here's what you can see as well as I can see. This man is newly sober, going through a divorce, sending mixed messages, fast forwarding the clock, being vague, and you don't feel good. Are you a Band-Aid for someone else's wounds? No. That's right. You're not. She's going to be like, well, it's just lunch. Well, I don't understand why you're, I mean, he's going to like gaslight me or something. I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, I really don't. I'm just going to be like, look, dude, like, I feel like you're sending a lot of mixed messages. I mean, I get that it's just lunch, you know, in terms of like you wanting a female perspective, like get a therapist. I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm, you know, you ask me out and like so maybe you need to get more clean time and get over your fucking marriage and we can reconnect at a later date like I don't I just ended up feeling shitty last night and confused and vulnerable and stupid and you know um you know yeah something along those lines and really you don't have to explain 
all of it. You can if you want to, but you can simply be, look, I'm I'm not feeling good about this. I think we should wait until you know you're a little bit further along with your divorce and in your recovery. You come back to me, you know, in six months and let's see where it's at. It's not feeling good to me right now. You know, and yes, we're, 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 you've come so far, Amy, and you've been doing such amazing work and you can be proud of that. You, you have been amazing and consistent and really showed up for yourself. And you're at this point now where we're about to, you know, create this dating plan for you that's going to protect you, right, from guys taking advantage of you or treating you like a Band-Aid or a doormat. And so it's interesting that this is coming up right now, mm -hmm. right? Because you're a, you're right on the precipice of some, like, a game changer. Yeah, I just felt I'm really bad you. about the thing yesterday, and I woke up, like, really depressed about it. And it's like, mm -hmm. I mean, I think I can be really communicative and open, and he might just go, well, it's just lunch, and you wanted to move slow. And it's like, but I see myself saying that and then acting the opposite, which is fucking classic for me. You know what I mean? saying, oh, I want to move slow. I did that in my last relationship and then fucked him on the first date. You know what I mean? And it's like, I mean, I... So you're sending mixed messages too. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, I mean, all of this is okay. Like you're okay and he's okay and everybody's okay and you're conscious and aware of all of this now which is the recovery which is amazing like that you're telling me all of this that you're telling on yourself mm. right huge instead of just doing it and then calling me afterwards right so there's huge progress in that and what that consciousness affords you is that you can make a choice now do you, do you need to go back for more of that? Or are you ready to do it differently? And, and what differently looks like, you know, we can, we can talk about that. What mm -hmm. different looks like, you know? Um, because there, you know, I, I'm not saying that you, that you need to like go no contact on the guy necessarily. You know, what if, what if there is a way for you to, um, at this point, have some contact with him and, um, and be a friend and be a fellow, right? But, but also honor that you know, Amy, that he's not available for what you want. And who wants to waste time on that? I don't, you know, I'm not really interested in being a fucking rebound, nor am I interested in being necessarily a fucking friend to bounce i don't even know bro i don't even know you you heard me speak at a fucking meeting and you asked me to lunch that felt like that didn't feel like hey i want to be your fucking friend you know what i mean like yeah are you attracted to him yeah is he attracted to you yeah right so spending one-on-one -on -one time with someone you're attracted to is called dating yeah he's like <laughs> you're super sexy and pretty and cute and funny and now it's like you know it's like yeah and now it's like oh it's just a lunch and i need a woman's perspective and i was just like so, so I think he one one thing i want to suggest one thing that you could do is simply clarify because there's this there's this vagueness right so you could use this as an opportunity to just practice getting clarity and simply say to him look um you asked me to lunch. Is this a date or not? Right? Yeah, he's like, well, let's it's, see what happens. It's like. That's what I mean, he responded. I, that, with. I so, get, that I get. I get it. Like I said, hey, we could see each other. And they'd be like, no way. Like no attraction. Just friends. We've not seen each other in person. He was like, maybe. And I said, I doubt it, though. You know, I mean, it's like. Right, but going on a date doesn't mean that you commit to another date. It, 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 that's exactly what it's for is, yes, you show up and you see, do you have chemistry in person? You've met in person already, right? 
Mm, we've seen each other around. We're not, we've not really met. It's been years. Okay. So yeah, but that's, that's what a date is for, you know? Um, I get that it's a first date and it's a lunch date. And yes, so there's not any big like commitment, but it's still a date. And this, this reluctance to, um, to be clear about that and to, to, for, for him to declare himself, what, what does that say to you? Emotionally unavailable and conflicted. Probably. Yeah. He's not ready. He wants to be ready. He wants to spend time with a woman. It will feel good to him to spend time with a woman and, and talk about himself and his feelings, but he's not really ready to date. That's what I take from it. And you could ask him, you know, is what I'm suggesting is go back to him and say, look, I need to be really clear if, you know, this is a date or not a date. And, and if he comes back and he says, yeah, it's a date, then we take it from there. And if he comes back and says, no, it's not a date, then we take it from there, right? But, but you get to be clear about how he's approaching you and decide whether or not you are ready for that. Do you want it to be a date? Yeah, it is a fucking date. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can call it what you fucking want, but it's like, right. it's like you're attracted. It's a fucking date, dude. It's of a fucking date. It. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you know, you can go, oh, it's just lunch, but it's like, I don't know. It's like, and why haven't you told your sponsor? Oh, I'm talking to this girl. She has a bazillion years sober. And like, you know, we're going to have, do you think this is a good idea? It's like, fucking tell him. Like I told my sponsor, mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. you know my sponsor was just like hey man like you know what are your motives are they clean are you willing you know what are the consequences are you willing to take responsibility for those consequences and I was just like I was like right okay fair enough right. you know what I mean right right I need clarification and I need you know it's like okay I, I don't okay honey yeah, I mean, it feels like, you know, a lot of like what guys do, like pull up, you know, come here and then, well, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like really, uh oh. <laughs> really what happened in the last situation, like hardcore. Yeah, that's painful. Of, you know, we're going somewhere, I'm open like this, and then just literally just like disappearing. And then I'm like, what do you, why do you, and then him going, you know, him being like, well, I didn't fucking, we're not, I'm not your boyfriend. And, you know, like I've got all this going on. And, you know, I never made a commitment to you. And like, like just all that, like, gaslighting and then me feeling crazy you know it's like I don't think he's ready I don't know what to say I don't think he's even ready for fucking lunch it's like I don't I know and it's like in terms of having a woman like to run things by or whatever like I don't that's I'm not interested in that like I don't have to tell you I'm looking for a partner like I'm not interested my time is of, of, of value to me I have a lot fucking going on like I don't you know, if I'm going to go on a date and I haven't been on a date in fucking however long, I'm not going there to fucking, you know, be the therapist for your fucking marriage. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck right. you, man. You know what I mean? Like, what about my needs? And there's nothing wrong with saying that, babe. Like, what about your, my needs? Oh, oh, yeah. I, I, oh, right. You need a girl to talk to. Well, get a friend. You have friends. Plus your friends. Your friends have told you to leave that marriage fucking a bazillion times. Talk to them about it, your feelings. Yeah. I you think know. That, sweetheart. So, so go ahead and tell him that. And if you want to run the text by me before you send it. I'm oh, it's going to help me. I mean, I don't know how I'll respond, to be honest. I have no well, idea. Of course you don't. There's no way to no, know. No, I mean, sometimes I do. Like, they'll be like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And, 
Like you want it. I mean, I think it's going to become a thing. Maybe, maybe not. So all I'm saying is if you want to send your text to me. No, oh, I will. Because yeah. you're going to make it because it won't be nice. So yeah, do that. Say, say what you need to say and then send it to me. Okay. And, and yeah, and I'll, I'll help you soften it. And, you know, and we'll see, but you'll get your point across and you'll get the clarity that you need. 